good things have to come to an end. Well, this is for now my last video um, about racism. Um, I really appreciate every discussion and I really like to discuss and uh, stuff like that, but you know, my channel is not a political channel and uh, I don't want to reduce it to this one topic. Um, but I made, an, made a little experience today. Uh, I was driving the bus, I saw a dark skinned guy, a black skinned guy, however you want to put it. Uh, well, and I sat near him, took a seat there and read my book. Then I thought about something. I mean, Germany is clearly a country with a lot of racism. And that's true. And I uh, thought I, I thought about the guy sitting near me. Uh, I thought, where 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 does he come from? And I was like, oh yeah, right, from the the soft drink factory. He came from he come he came most likely from the from the soft drink factory because he was working there. Most likely he wasn't working in the management or an office or stuff like that because normally uh, they're carrying the heavy uh, box sets where the drinks are in and they do that the whole day you know they wait they they start their days at like six or seven o'clock and, and they end their days around I don't know late in any way okay in other words they do the shit that a German never even dared to touch you don't get much money out of it. Um, I have no idea how much money, but I had a friend there once who uh, worked on such a thing. He, he got quite some money, but not really the, the usual German standard person wouldn't wouldn't even dare to think about accepting a job like that because he wants more. He wants more. He wants luxury. Uh, he wants an Xbox. He wants he, he wants an Wii. He wants a high speed internet, you know. He wants he, he wants a high definition TV all at once, you know. <laughs> and he wants to drive the biggest fucking car in town. He would he would he would never touch a job like that. But people from other countries do, and they do they do it very good. Otherwise, we wouldn't have. We, 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 we most likely wouldn't have our soft drinks or, you know, we wouldn't have so much soft drinks. And it's not, it's not only the soft drinks, it's the, the, the taxi drivers, you know, it's um, uh, like people who are selling um, foreign vegetables, it's, it's people who uh, sell things on the market, uh, you know, people who, who sell cheap uh, clothes for people. For, for, for people who can't afford the newest kind of clothes and stuff like that. So, no fucking reason to complain, really, about reasonable persons who are working here and who are working hard just to get their fucking meals on their plates, to put food on the table and for themselves and for their families. And that's something that everybody should think about before he dares to judge a person by their skin color, by their language, or shit like that. I mean, they would, you know, they have to, they have to deal with Germany every day. They, they, they might not speak the language, and and uh, if you know, you, you could find it pretty rude. But on the other hand. If you don't speak the language in a, in, a, in a country and you have to work there and you have to work there very hard because you can't find work in your country and you have to deal with uh, with with a partly hostile country every day and you have to drive bus you have to pay your taxes you have to pay the rent and you have to put food on the table and man that's that earns a lot of respect doesn't it That was the thought that I had when, when I was driving in the bus.